neighbors. Oh my gosh, these last two days of getting it together to go to work. I've been up until two, messing around. I think this might be better. Messing around with videos. And it's ridiculous because I just get almost, I'm anal, okay? I'm type, I'm type A. I was gonna say type one. Take two. Um, yeah, I'm anal and <clears throat> anyways, I spent the entire night, <coughs> excuse me, editing that video from what night was it we went to play, ho hockey night, and I had sat at the table and did the, um, on my laptop, and I told you I thought the picture was better. I don't know if the sun was coming in and out <coughs> of the window. <coughs> But I didn't notice it until I uploaded it to YouTube. Thank God I uploaded it privately. It's not the end of the world, but it's 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 just not okay. It's just so I don't know if I I just don't know what I did. So I'm gonna try it again. Um, and I think I'm gonna try it again on film more ago. Like I I don't know. We'll see how that works. Like, I'll, I'll, I'll bring it over to my iPhone. You, yeah. Holy cow. And it's, you know, I'm getting a little anxious because um, the party's coming up and on Friday and I've got so much going on. And, of all, and Thursday night I have a play to go to at the West Coast Black Theater Group to see the Black Nativity. They have that every year at Christmas time. Never seen it. So I'm taking my friend Kathy um, and uh, and going to dinner for Christmas. Um, so that I hope that time together we'll really enjoy. I think we will, whether the play is bad or good. It's a night out for her. Again, uh, she takes care of her mom, who is bedridden, and and it's I it doesn't it just pales in comparison to what I had to deal with with my mom. I had to deal with kind of, oh, there's a sheriff. He didn't pull me over for, for, um, for vlogging. Uh, let's see, what else? So, I'm, you know, just a little nervous. I'm all out of gum. Got to go to Walmart as soon as I get out of work today. And then I want to get my pedicure. Told you guys that already. So, there's a lot of stuff I need to get done. And what's tomorrow is Tuesday. I think Debbie and I are going to Costco to pick up some wine because it's cheaper there and whatever else we might see. And I don't know if I mentioned this. And then I've got to clean. And it's just going to help me put all the chairs up and as much stuff as I can put out on the lanai for the cleaners to come and do all the floors and the carpets. I want to get everything so they can get as much area clean as possible. It's so needed. Um, so that's that. And Wednesday, I think I have a free day where I can clean. And Thursday, I can make the chicken salad and have that done. I'll wait and do the deviled eggs on, on the day of the party. I like to do them fresh. So, um, that's that. And I've just got to contact people and tell them what I need for them to bring. If they haven't already made it or bought it, we'll see. Um, what else? There was something else I wanted to tell you. Oh, also on New Year's Eve, my brother and my sister-in-law Terry and our friend Jeanette, we're all going to <coughs> the hockey game for New Year's Eve. The game's at five, so we'll get there and eat. I mean, we'll eat after the, after the game, I guess. But that sounds like fun, and I think we're meeting up with uh, Pat. Uh, Pat is a gentleman that lost his wife, our good friend, his beautiful wife, on Mother's Day. So he's going to be, his kids have been his salvation, um, but he did talk to me the other night. I don't know, We I was telling him I was going on a cruise. I said, you know, I don't have family, my girlfriend's divorced, she's her, you know, so we're at a, a place in our life where we can go away.
away for a cruise. And he said, he goes, oh, let me see a picture of your girlfriend. He's kidding. But anyway, what he, I, so then he, I don't know what happened. He asked how long I was married, I think. And he said, do you ever want to marry again? And I said, I don't think so, Pat. I said, it's been a, I haven't had a boyfriend. I haven't had, I haven't been with anyone since my husband and I divorced. It was, you know, 12 years ago. He looked at me, he goes, why not? I go, I just, I just hate dating. And I just, I don't know. I don't want to say like, I don't want another, an older man messing up my house. It's, I've, I'm enough to take care of. I don't want to feel the burden of having to. If I meet somebody now at my age, possibly having to take care of them. And I've been single for a long time and I just don't want to take care of a man, okay? But he did say to me, I said, you know what, Pat, I'm really proud of you, how well you've done. I said, you you could have just stayed in bed. I think this is where the conversation was going. I said, <clears throat> I said, I have, I said, you, I did until a good friend of mine, <clears throat> Debbie Penta, came and saved me. Got me out of bed, started putting everything in bags so I could get out of there, and away I went. So told him, you know, you're going out, you're, you're still going to games, you're, you're golfing, like, that's so, that's so fabulous, I said, I know there's times where it's got to be difficult for you, and he looked at me, and he said, nighttime is really hard, and he said, because he was married 61 years, and he said, I'm just lonely, he said, I just want a companion, so, um,
I'm going to close the video for today. Remember, be good to yourself, be good to others, and